Reactions as Istanbul supporters attack Obi after he said he'll implement Buhari's 2.3 billion naira cement deal. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post our juicy news update, please click on the notification bell. The presidential candidate of the Labour Party LP, the former governor of Anambra State, Mr. Peter Obi, held his interactive session today in London. At the Tatham House, where he had an interactive session with journalists and Nigerians living in London. However, while speaking on electricity at the Chatham House, he noted that he would declare a war on electricity and that he would implement the 2.3 billion naira Nigeria cement bill to improve the electricity distribution. Some supporters of the All Progressive Congress attacked the Liberal Party presidential candidate Peter B for saying he'll implement the cement deal. Reacting to it, a Twitter user with the handle name Omar Jagaban commented, I thought P2B said he went to Egypt to understudy the power system. How come he's talking about Buhari Cement deal and is only planned for power generation at the Chatham House? He's campaigning with Cement deal, so what did he learn from his Egypt power trip? And not reaction that through the post breathed us. So we should just neglect the deal because another president is coming in. Peter B will continue works on improve of them if he thinks the deal is okay without wasting our fund. He will also engage in fresh projects as seen in the manifesto. Another commented. I thought they said Bahari is not doing anything. They also said it was wrong for BAT to have said he will continue Bahari's work. What is going on now? Another commented. Has he assigned the question yet? Another opined. Do the cement contrast money belongs to your father? It is, it is Nigerian money and as president he will oversee all assets of Nigeria and all sectors of the economy. Government is a continuum, period. Another commented, so you should use something that was brought, bought with Nigeria's money. Will Buhari take it to his house? Another opined, what kind of presentation is this from a presidential candidate? What a disgrace. Another commented, now Buhari personal money he used in possessing it. Another opinion, do you experience him to cancel the agreement already? Well, for those who are throwing shit at P2B, let me tell you people, do you know that it is for this particular reason, for this particular purpose, and for this particular reason, that is why we are having problems in this country. I will come in. I'm a PDP member. I have works I was doing before. Even in the same party, you will see people who will come in, they have works they were doing before. Just because they are not syncing with the other person, they are not in the same synergy with that person. The person comes in and does what? Abandon project. And I keep saying these things. It is not your money. It is not your father's money. You understand? It is normal. If the thing that you are working on it will better Nigeria. Why mm. won't I continue? I've been saying is that continue, cont as in continuity has been one of the major problems of this country. Continuity. So finally, Peter went to Chatham House. Wow. Okay, I remember that it was scheduled to hold on the 15, 16. Okay. So he has finally gone to the Chatham House. Good one. But for those who are throwing shades and who are who are like throwing tantrums like babies. This thing is very easy. I'm saying, I'm telling you. You see this second Niger bridge. Uh -huh. They have done something on it before. So, because somebody that came in now, what Buhari do was continuity. They have mapped out the area to use all those things, found the foundational work of it. The ones you are saying is the finishing job. Some people have been doing it. People don't do and they come. So I don't see the big deal here. Yes, he went to Egypt to understudy their whatever, whatever, whatever. Uh -huh. He can't understudy them. Can't see, say, this one, bless it, would be better. Hello, what is there? Ha. Now, what for us, so for this country? The main thing is it not so that you, go, you people have electricity. And I keep saying for government that works, for people who are saying, eh, I thought Muhammad Bahari. Look, let me tell you. 
I keep saying things like this, as in, if you want to come out and say you are going to continue from where Buhari stopped, mention it. And that is what he did. He mentioned, he mentioned, he mentioned that that particular project was what he was going to continue on. Unlike people who come out and say, I'll continue from where Buhari stopped. You, we all know that if we are talking about where Buhari stopped, you, there's a lot of things involved. There are people who they are refusing to see even the little. So he has mentioned what he's going to continue. And to me, it's okay. If he goes in there and says that um, some of the things Buhari does, like, you know, the equipment he bought, will he go there and show it away? No. He will just, this one, they are still good. All he do is continue. Continuity, I just want to make us understand something. Some government hmm? they go in and there's some people who go in and just because that person they don't have any relationship with that person even in the same party this is what i'm saying people can be me witness they will go they will abandon project just because they are somebody new do you understand even when continuing the project is going to save money they will come in and will abandon you know the person just because maybe them and the person are not in good terms or they don't know the person or you know me when in government it is not your money it is our money you are they called you are the president so that you manage resources do you understand you do what you manage it well i don't know why they are making so much noise about it ha huh. all right apc should also tell us why pmb launched the abj cardona rail line they should also tell us why PAB completed the second Niger Big project, the all project of Good Luck Abel and Jonathan. If there is any good initiative by PMB which they got confused at the point or could not finish, is a continuum. Unfortunately, some of us are not aware. That's the problem we have in Nigeria. Those who do not understand the dynamics of government struggle to control the political space. And that is it. Continuity is the lifespan of every government. In fact, I'm of the opinion. In fact, I'm of the opinion that they should sign it into law. That if you come in as a government, you come in now, you meet something. That thing you met is good. That thing they're working on is okay. It will benefit the people. They should sign it into be like you will continue. I am saying this because many, many governments fail. State governors, they fail. Presidential, they fail. Local government chairman, you see this route, they were doing it before. You come, you just abandon it. Do you understand? You will go to places, you see that maybe they did their drainages and the road, they did not do it. So, this is it's one of our problems. I don't know why he's been attacked. Anyway, at least... I, he has something he is even saying he would do. Yeah. You understand? Unlike. So this particular continuous is not a problem. It's even, it's even, uh, what's it called? It's even, uh, what's it called? It's even good for the system. All right. On this note, you have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. And so I come your way next time. Enjoy the rest of your day.